Are you ready to embark on a journey across the beautiful Swiss countryside? Don't miss our top 10 locations to see in Switzerland, whether you're a visitor or a newcomer. Switzerland is a tiny country with a lot to offer in terms of tourist attractions. Switzerland truly does have something for everyone, from majestic alpine peaks to beautiful blue lakes and a landscape filled with historical treasures. Indeed, there is so much to see and do inside Switzerland's borders that expats and visitors alike may struggle to pick where to go next. But have no fear. With our top 10 places to visit in Switzerland guide, you'll be experiencing the breathtaking grandeur of this unique alpine treasure in no time. So before start please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon hit that like button it is free for you does not cost you anything but it tremendously helps my channel. Number 1. The Matterhorn. This pyramid-shaped colossus is one of the most photographed mountains on the planet, making it a must-see in Switzerland. Mountaineers from all over the world converge on Switzerland to tackle the peak, which stands at a magnificent 4,478 meters. If you're not feeling very active, use the cable car instead. The highest cable car station in the Alps is located on the summit, which provides spectacular views of the mountain top and beyond. A journey to the Matterhorn is the epitome of all things Swiss. You will not want to miss this. In Zermatt, we visited the Matterhorn Museum. Instagramming from the viewing deck of the Gornergrat. 365 days a year, you may ski on the Theodel Glacier. Number 2. Chateau de Chillon. The historic Chateau de Chillon is a must-see on any visit to the Swiss Riviera. The castle, which is located on an island in Lake Geneva near the tourist town of Montreux, was built in the 10th century as a strategic water fort. The castle halls were subsequently decked out with all kinds of art and artifacts that tourists may enjoy today, and it became a lakeside vacation residence for the rich counts of Savoy. The castle is the most visited historical landmark in Switzerland, and it is a must-see for anybody visiting the nation. You will not want to miss this. Visiting the castle's three opulent grand halls. The amazing weaponry room had me gasping. The boat ride from Montreux to the chateau was fantastic. Number 3. Jungfrau Jock. The Jungfrau Jock is an alpine paradise that more than lives up to its moniker of Top of Europe. The Jungfrau Jock, which is technically a glacial saddle between two mountains, is one of Switzerland's greatest and tallest attractions. Don't be frightened off by the height, there's enough to do for the whole family, from mountain climbing to tobogganing and much more. The world famous Jungfrau Railway, however, is arguably the most stunning attraction. The train climbs from Kleinskaidet to Jungfraujoch, Europe's highest railway station, at 3,454 meters above sea level. You will not want to miss this. Seeing the famous ice sculptures and exploring the ice palace inside the glacier. On the popular zip line, you'll be flying through the air. The views from the Sphinx Observatory are breathtaking. Number 4. Schweizerischer National Park. It's difficult to know where to go in a nation with breathtaking landscape at every turn. One thing is certain, you will want to go to the Swiss National Park in Zernez. It'll give you a sense of how the Alps were before tourism because it's the country's sole national park. This location has it everything, from snow-crusted glaciers to mesmerizing meadows. There are several hiking paths to select from, all of which take visitors through breathtaking vistas. If you're lucky, you could see some of the park's occupants, such as red squirrels, ibexes, and red deer. You will not want to miss this. Looking up in the sky, there are golden eagles in the neighborhood. At the Schmelzer Museum, you may learn about the bears who formerly frequented the park taking a hike on one of the park's 21 trails.
Number 5. Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva is one of Switzerland's most beautiful sites, stretching from Geneva in the west to Lausanne in the east. There's lots to do in the surrounding region, from the international buzz of Geneva to the countless wineries that creep up the slopes around the lake. There's also a lot of activity on the lake. For the more energetic visitors to the region, windsurfing, water skiing, and kayaking are all options. You may also simply sit back and enjoy the beauty of the lake from the deck of a paddle steamer as it traverses the water if you're feeling lazy. In Geneva, capturing the ideal jet d'eau picture. When the temps drop, go night skiing in the mountains. Number 6. Lugano. A vacation to the southern city of Lugano will allow you to see Switzerland in a whole new light. The city called the Monte Carlo of Switzerland is nestled on the banks of the magnificent Lake Lugano and mixes Swiss and Italian traditions into an amazing weekend vacation. When you come, you could believe you're in nearby Italy, thanks to the abundance of museums and the pleasant Mediterranean winds. Impressive mansions are strewn throughout the verdant hillsides that rise from the lake, just outside the city. You will not want to miss this. At the kid-friendly Swiss miniature, you can see the finest of Switzerland in miniature. Practicing your Italian by conversing with the locals. Lugano's distinctive native delights will tantalize your taste buds. Number 7. Bern. Bern is not only Switzerland's capital, but it's also one of the country's most charming tourist destinations. If you take a stroll around the old town's tiny cobblestone streets, you'll quickly see why the area is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A plethora of stores, bars, and bears can be found throughout Bern's old center. Yes, a family of bears, the city's emblem, lives at Bear Park, which is located just over the river from the old town. If that wasn't enough, the city is home to a plethora of vibrant markets, including several spectacular Christmas markets during the Advent season. You will not want to miss this. The Albert Einstein Museum, which is housed in his former flat, can help you discover your inner genius. The renowned Zitglog, a prominent 13th century tower, is used to tell the time taking a plunge in one of the city's well-known outdoor pools. Number 8. Lucerne. It doesn't get much more spectacular than Lucerne in a country full with picture-perfect lakeside towns. The small medieval city stands on the banks of Lake Lucerne, surrounded by three huge mountains. You might be excused for believing you've walked into a picture when wandering around the fascinating old town. While admiring the city's architectural marvels, you may visit old cathedrals, busy squares, and a plethora of stores. The Chapel Bridge, a covered wooden bridge that has connected the heart of Lucerne since 1333, is the highlight. You will not want to miss this. Getting the ideal image of the magnificent Chapel Bridge. The city wall watchtowers in Lucerne provide a bird's eye perspective. Visiting the Transport Museum in Switzerland. Number 9. Rainfalls. Rainfalls is Europe's most powerful waterfall, so it's no surprise that it's one of the most popular things to do in Switzerland. From various observation decks, visitors may take in the grandeur of the waterfall, which is located near the northern town of Schaffhausen. If you're feeling really daring, you may rent a boat and explore some of the surrounding castles from the water. Every August, as part of Switzerland's National Day celebrations, the fall stage a magnificent firework show that draws people from all across the nation. You will not want to miss this. From the boat, getting up up and personal with the falls, at the adjacent Rhine Falls Adventure Park, you may explore the trees. Taking a break with a drink at a cafe with a view of the falls. 
Number 10. Zurich. Finally, no list of the best things to do in Switzerland would be complete without a mention of Zurich. Zurich, Switzerland's largest city, is also the country's social and cultural center. Despite its world-famous financial services, Zurich boasts a surprisingly active social scene. There's a lot going on, from the renowned Pride March to Europe's largest street party. And, if that weren't enough, the city is aesthetically pleasing, from the quaint streets of the old town to the breathtaking landscape of Lake Zurich. You will not want to miss this. Relaxing in the parks that runs parallel to the water's edge. The FIFA World Football Museum is a great place to learn about the beautiful game. On a bustling square in the old town, sipping an Aperol spritz 